So now we all know that Chris Long is is, de is retiring, and uh, we need that third defensive end. Now, this could happen. This could not happen. But yeah, look at there's a few free agents out there right now that you can go pick up as a friendly deal, a little bit of a prove it deal for some of these guys. Number one guy I want to talk about is Muhammad Wilkerson. Okay, a 2011 30th overall pick by the New York Jets. Um, unfortunately, he's been in his his pushback his play from injury. Okay, the end of the Todd Bowles era. Um, you know, two years ago. And uh, they were, you know, the Jets were cleaning house, and uh, Wilkerson pretty much had a broken leg, um, and he was out for a while. Uh, so last year, Green Bay Packers picked Muhammad Wilkerson up, and uh, unfortunately, had a really, really, really bad ankle injury, which kept him out for a long period of time. Now, I don't know what his health is now. I don't know what's going on. There's no info. There's no news. So do you go out and get a Muhammad Wilkerson to play defensive end and to at least see what he could do? Um, like I said, don't know his health. Um, but, you know, when he's healthy, he's one of the best pass rushers in the league. Um, you know, like I said, a rotational depth guy. This isn't going to be a starting guy. Um, this is why you pick up a guy like this and you could put him on the field, see what he could do. Um, <clears throat> I live in New York, so I know a lot of the Jets were, you know, a few years back. I, you know, I have a lot of friends there, Jet fans. Um, so I know Muhammad Wilkerson very well, very powerful pass rusher, has, uh, a, a good, really good inside quick step. Um, but like I said, injuries have kind of pushed him back a little bit in his career. And I think maybe you can give him another chance. The Philadelphia Eagles could sign him to a little bit of a friendly contract, uh, you know, a one-year deal worth, you know, a million and a half, two million dollars, and kind of just, uh, um, uh, you know, see what he could do on the field, or at least at least bring him in to camp and, and see, you know, how he's going to be and see how he competes with a lot of these guys. Um, you know, cause we are, you know, we have, we have Derek Bardet, we got Brandon Graham, we got Vinny Curry. Now you have Josh Sweat that maybe could show some potential, but maybe you want to pick up a guy in Muhammad Wilkerson, um, you know, pick up a guy in Muhammad Wilkerson, um, you know, maybe he could finally, you know, come to a team where he's in a good rotation, depending if that's what he wants. He might just have no choice. I think this is where he's going to better his career, um, play with a team that's, you know, uh, a Super Bowl caliber team that could make it this year. So you kind of want to look at this guy and say, hey, you bring him in for, you know, sign him. Sign him uh, sign him right now to a cheap deal and if, you know, um, and see what he could do in training camp. Uh, and then see him in the preseason, uh, see how his health is. Of course, they'll find that out before they, you know, they sign him. Um, but, you know, this would be a pretty good guy to get. I don't see why, you know, this is an option. This is a guy that you could just kick off the team if he doesn't, you know, if he's not panning out too much um, at training camp and during the preseason games. So when you make the final cuts and, you you know, he could be the odd man out too because maybe he's not fully 100%. Don't know his health, like I just said. Uh, but Muhammad Wilkerson, I would take a shot at it. Uh, bring him in because you know what? You'd rather go out and get a guy like Muhammad Wilkerson and and pay him a very cheap contract than going out to trade for a defensive end and having to give up assets and draft picks. And we don't really want that. We need to secure all of our draft picks for next year. You know, having that extra third round pick, the extra fifth round pick, and maybe having a sixth round pick if we don't keep Jordan Howard. So you have a lot of a lot of options. Uh, so let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of Muhammad Wilkerson. Um, I understand, like I said, I know he's been a little injury prone, uh, but hey, as a rotational guy, maybe it's different. He's never been in a rotation before. Um, you know, he's always been that guy. So let's bring him in, see what he could do. And uh, it's just an idea. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I will see you guys later. Shake squad up. Files fly.